Abdominoplasty, as the name implies, is a procedure where the abdominal wall is improved or repaired. It is usually done for those who have a very lax abdomen or a pendulous fold of skin or lax skin in the infraumbilical area. So the, these are pa patients who usually we find who, uh, you know, they develop this after pregnancy where the skin has been stretched, there is stretch marks, they could have a caesarean scar in the lower abdomen and the skin becomes inelastic and forms a pendulous fold. This inelastic skin will not shrink by any means non-surgical. So the best thing to do is to get rid of all of this loose skin and tighten the abdomen. So at the t same time when you are getting rid of the skin, you can tighten the abdominal muscles as well. These muscles, for instance, the vertical rectus abdominis muscles, they tend to move apart during pregnancy. Not all women suffer from this, but many do. And when the ab rectus abdominis moves apart, it leaves you with a kind of a ventral weakness. And this is called as ventral diabetication. This ventral weakness causes a bulge in the front. So many women may find that after pregnancy, their abdomen is bulging forward. And every time they're straining, in fact, it gets worse. Uh, and this can be repaired in an abdominoplasty. So we get rid of the ellipse of skin in below the umbilicus and then we repair the abdominal muscles, bring them back in the midline and then we pull the skin down and tighten it all up. So they are left with a low kind of a caesarean type of a scar and that fades over time. It may take a year or so to fade. Now, most of the stretch mark skin below the umbilicus or the navel is gone and if you do liposuction at the same time, like the upper abdomen or the flanks or the lower back where you have bulge, then it improves the figure even more. So you could get the pre-pregnancy figure back. Now the cost-wise, this procedure, if it's just an abdominoplasty, may cost anywhere from 1.5 to 2 lakhs because it needs hospitalization. You have to uh, have drains in for a few days till the drainage stops and then you can go home. The, cost, the time of the procedure is also 3.5 to around 4 hours time. And... Um, once um, the drains are out, you can go home. Recovery time uh, is around you know, 10 days to two weeks for the wound to heal up and then uh, for the swelling to disappear, which is around four to six weeks time. If you're doing liposuction as well, that can take care of the, this time duration can take care of that as well. And the cost of liposuction is the same as I uh, you know, mentioned, around 25 to 35,000 per zone and um, you just club it together. You have to wear a compression garment on top cost of the compression garment may be different or separate and um, wearing a good nice compression garment and having massage helps you to get rid of the swelling fairly fast.